Like this video proves the IRS audits the poor at five times the rate of everybody else. This video might piss you off. It's going to bring you proof that they're targeting you. If you got that EITC or child tax credit, that was a setup, man. So keep watching. You're going to want to watch this one to the end. Tax season is a fraught time for taxpayers who are understandably eager to get their refunds quickly. Uh, who may fret that processing hiccups could delay the checks, but some Americans may have more grounds for concerns than others. Low income households with less than 25K in annual earnings, man, they targeting you if you're in a hood or if you uh, are a single mother and don't have much, this is you. Look, this group is five times as likely to be audited by the IRS as everyone else. Remember when they was helping y'all during the pandemic and acting like they were all concerned and all that? Man, that was a setup. The Bible says a snare and a trap. If destroys the heart, they want you to take the bait. Don't accept none, man. According to a new analysis of IRS data by the Transactional Record uh, Records Access Clearing Track at Syracuse University, about 13 tax returns out of 1,000 filed by those earning less than 25K were audited in this fiscal year, ended September 30th, compared with a rate of 2.6 for every 1,000 returns for people with incomes over 25K, okay? So if your stuff is over 25K, you have less chance than people that are under it. So if you pour on um, housing or or you got your homeboy to go ahead and do it for you or something like that, then <laughs> this might be you. If you uh, filed that earned income tax credit or any of that extra stuff like that, they trying to get y'all. That's why half of my audience is still processing. So how fair of a tax, how fair of a tax system? But the higher rate of audits among poor taxpayers also raises questions of fairness and whether it represents the best use of resources, okay? Uh, when you have a tax system where you are targeting targeting the lowest wage earners at much a higher rate than higher income taxpayers, how fair of a tax system is that? Okay, so we're going to hop down here. This is what you really want to know. What is the risk? Your risk of getting audited. The risk of getting audited by the IRS has been declining for years due in part to a shrinking workforce. Okay, the agency employed about 82,000 workers in fiscal year 2021 compared with about 94,000 workers in 2010. With fewer uh, agents on hand, the audit rate has declined steadily, okay, including for millionaires. But the number of people with incomes over 1 million has jumped. Yes, a lot of people have become entrepreneurs, working from home, doing a lot of craziness. See, they trying to level this game out. And especially if you um, are filing that you're still poor or not making that much, they're trying to find ways to level a game. Okay, so, but the number of audits on million dollar tax returns dwindled to about 14K last year. Okay, so lowest level of customer service. Correspondence audits were cited as one of the IRS's biggest problems by national taxpayer advocate Aaron Collins in her report to Congress earlier this year. Taxpayers who got caught up in these audits are often less, uh, often lowest earning Americans, she noted. At the same time, the IRS devotes the least amount of resources to conduct the largest number of examinations. So you are last, you are least important if you are under 25K, if you are poor, if you got an earned income tax credit or child tax credit or something like that, if you got those payments, if you get unemployment checks and any of that extra stuff, you are last on the list to get serviced, okay? So I just wanted y'all to see this today. So, and this is real, is multiple articles, reputable articles, talking about it guys like they're literally targeting the poor uh sorry about that man I, there's nothing i can do but we got updates coming for you uh, make sure you back here around 10. All right.